everybody, Evil Doom Master, and welcome back to the class trial video. So we are going to be doing the Feroso Druid, which is cat form. So I'm going to show you guys how to do the Feroso cat form for Druids. So let's go ahead and do the cat form video for Feroso Druids. And I'll put in the description below to, to check out the Bands Druid to watch the other one. So that will be in the description below if you want to watch that one. So let's go ahead and do the Feroso Druid, which is cat form. Well met. A glorious battle awaits us on the broken shore. The war chief expects every hero of the horde to be sharp and ready. I suggest we use the time for a bit of combat training. Say the word and we'll begin. All right, so let's begin Thug the fight. training. For the horde. As a feral druid, your main weapon is shape-shifting. In cat form, your claws and fangs rip and bleed your opponent. Soon they'll be weak enough for you to go for the throat with a mighty finishing move. Use cat form and assume the form of a cat. Alright, cat form. It's a shift shift into cast. Shift shift into cat form, increasing movement speed by 30%, granting protecting from high loss effects and reducing fongs damage. The act of shift shifting frees you from movement impairment effects. Alright, so now we're on cat form. Excellent! As a cat, you can move with uncanny stealth, allowing you to approach your enemies undetected. Prowl puts you in stealth mode. Use Prowl to enter stealth. Okay, Prowl is an instant cast. Until you cancel it. Attack or take damage. It is a 10 second cooldown, activates cap form and places you into stealth until cancelled. So let's go on stealth mode. Once you've reached your prey in stealth, it's time to ambush them. Rake will cause your target to bleed, wounding them over time. Your shred ability also deals extra damage to bleeding targets, so these are great abilities to use together. Use Rake on the target dummy. Alright, so... Rake inflicts its damage over time, so you don't need to use it again until your target is no longer affected by it. So you can use Prowl when you're in a BG or like a PvP match. So you can let you watch some guards and go in stealth mode and try to uh, get the flag. And now we got our next ability is Wake. Wake is 35 energy, it well, actually it costs 35 energy. It's a melee range, it's a cast, because cap form. Wake the damage for 4787 bleed damage and an additional 23,935 bleed damage over 4 seconds, while stealth wake will also stun the target for 4 seconds and the 100% increased damage award 1 combo point. So we have to lose wake on a target dummy. There we go. Good work! Your primary attack is shred. Though powerful on its own, Using Shred on a bleeding target increases its damage, so try keeping Rake up. Use Shred on the target dummy while it's bleeding from Rake. Alright, Shred is 40, it costs 40 energy and melee range into cast, cause cap form. Shred the target causing 10,206 physical damage to the target. There is 20% increased damage against bleeding targets. While still straight deals 50% increased damage and has double the chance to critically strike. Award 1 combo point. So we do is wake 3 times. The target dummy. 1, 2, and 3. 
growth your shred and rake abilities. Generate combo points, which can fuel powerful finishing moves. Ferocious Bite is a finishing move that deals increased damage the more combo points you have. Try to use it when you have a full five combo points. When you have five combo points, use Ferocious Bite on the target dummy. Alright, Ferocious Bite, it costs 25 energy, melee range, 1 to 5 combo points, intercast, goes cat form, finishing move that causes physical damage per combo point and consumes up to 25 additional energy to increase damage by up to 100%. When news on targets below 25%, health. Ferocious Bite will also request the donation of your whip and your target. So one point is 2,917 damage, two points, 5,824 damage, three points, 8,751 damage, four points, 11,668 damage, and five points is 14,586 damage. So we need to, um, you need to get five combo points to activate Ferocious Bite on a target, so let's get some combo points then. And let's do this, there we go. So we have to activate uh, three times to get uh, Ferocious Bite. Alright, that's two. One combo point, two, and boom, done. Tougher enemies may require a diverse set of abilities to overcome. As an alternative to Ferocious Bite, Rip can be used to deal bleeding damage over time to your target. It is a good ability to spend combo points on early in a fight. Like Ferocious Bite, Rip is a finishing move and is best used when you have five combo points. Use Rip on the target dummy with five combo points. Alright, Rip is 30 energy, one to five combo points, a melee range, intercast, requires cap form, finishing move that causes bleed damage over 24 seconds, damage increase per combo point. One point is 10,080 damage, Two points is twenty thousand and one hundred six damage. Three damage is thirty thirty thousand two hundred forty damage. Four points is forty thousand three hundred twenty damage. Five points is fifty thousand and four hundred damage. So what we need to do is uh, we need five combo points to get whipped. So let's start to get some combo points. To... Oh, never mind that. There we go. Done. You're learning fast! Now that you have all your primary attack abilities, we will see how they work together. Practice using your attacks on this target dummy. Alright, so we're going to use all our attacks on this target dummy. So let's do that now. And there we go. Now you have the hang of it. Ever needed to quickly get out of a sticky situation? You excel at doing this. Dash increases your movement speed significantly for a short time. It can't be used often, so save it for when you really need it. Practice using Dash to increase your movement speed. All right, Dash is an intercast, a three minute cooldown. Activates cap form and increase movement speed by 7% while in cap form for 15 seconds. Now dash is very good to uh, escape from uh, like a, a battleground or if you're in a uh, raid or the part that's questing by yourself, you can just use dash to run away against your enemies. So can go so fast like you that. You also have the ability to call on the powers of nature for a variety of other abilities, like healing. After you've taken damage, use healing touch to restore your health. Alright. Use healing touch to restore yourself to full health. 
Regrowth is a 40 yard range. It costs 7,154 7, mana. It's a 1.38 second cast. Here is a friendly target for 18,173 and another 3,390 over 12 seconds. So basically, this just heals you for health. So if you're dying and if you need health, just cast Regrowth to heal yourself. And I think you can cast that on other members. Nope, just yourself. Excellent work. Target practice is over, hero. It's time to prove your mettle. Combine all the lessons you've learned and use them to defeat my men in combat. Show me you fight with savagery and Now cutting. we're going to be losing our abilities against the Horde soldiers. Remember to get all your combo points and to activate your finishing moves. And then make sure you heal if you die. Good work. Now demonstrate your skill against two foes at the same time. Now we have to kill both the soldiers at the same time. Remember to lose dash to run away from enemies if you have like multiple enemies on you. Lose dash to run away. Now we just gotta, gotta attack a bunch of demons until we get 100% and then this guy will be done for the day. So let's start killing some demons. Uh, the infernos are a great way to boost up the the um, the scenarios so that's a good way to, uh, to get faster. Four percent, that's good. Sixty eight percent. And there we go. Demons now and John. Well done, hero. You are now prepared to do when you feel ready. Explore your spell book and the talent tree for additional abilities you can learn. For the horde! 
I already told you the um the bear form the the uh trail form on the bench video so you can just watch that if you wanna know how they work. So now I wanna explain how the tents work. So this is the basic guide that they give you when you're making a trial uh a character when you are on hundred so here's what we got. We got blood scent, uh your melee it's a, a passive ability. Uh, your melee abilities in camp form have a 10% increase crit critical strike chance on target with a bleed effect. While charge, it's a 5 to 25 yard range, a 15 second cooldown intercast, grants a melee ability that will assigned by shape flip form, um, non shape flip, fly to a an ally position. Bail form ch uh, charge to an enemy, immobilizing them for four seconds. Cat form leap behind an enemy, dazing them for three seconds. Trail form leap for twenty yards. A park form increase room speed by additional uh, one hundred and fifty percent for five seconds. And then restoration affinity to passive. You gain your shell's gift. Heals you for three percent of the maximum health every five seconds. If you have four health, an injured party away mode will be healed instead. And then you also learn word duration, healing touch, and thrift med, mass engagement, uh, thirty yard range, intercast a thirty second cooldown, once the target in place for a thirty second cat a thirty second, and spreads to a snow. Nearby enemies, damage may interrupt effects usable in all ship shift forms. Then we got Soul of Force, a passive. Your finishing moves grants trope energy per combo point. And then Jag Wounds, passive. Your whip, wake, and smash ability do the same damage as normal or in 33% less time. And then finally we got Boot Slice. We play Swipe. 20, it costs 20 energy, it's an 8 yard range, and it's an intercast, it's a 11 second recharge, requires cap form, strikes all nearby enemies with a massive slash, inflicting 89,226 physical damage, awards 1 combo point, maximum recharge. Now, uh, we got some spells if you want to look at them, so we got Berserk, Instant cast a 3 minute cooldown, reduce the cost of all cat form abilities by 50%, and increase maximum energy by 50% for 15 seconds. Because cat form, uh, Brutal Ash, I think I already said that. Um, we got Engaging Roots, 3, 000, it costs 3,200 mana, a 35, 35 yard range. 1.50 second cast with the target in place for the second uh, damage may cancel the effect. Um, growl, it's a uh, bear form, cause bear form, a 30 yard range into cast and 8 second cooldown. Taunts the target to attack you and increase the threat that you generate against the target for 2 seconds. So basically, when you're in build form, use that to um, taunt your enemies with, even if you're waiting. So lose growl to taunt when you're in build form. Thank you. And uh, healing touch, uh, basically, here's a friendly target for 23,366. For your range, cost 2,880 mana, a 2.3 second cast. Uh, main. Uh, it's a, uh, I think I already said that, I believe, did I? No, I did not. Okay, MAME is a, uh, it costs 35 energy, 1 to 5 comma points, a melee range, intercast, a 10, 10 second cooldown, and requires cap form, fence move that causes physical damage and stuns the target, damage and donation increase plus comma point. One point is 1,689 damage for one second. Two points is 3,377 damage. Two seconds. Three points. 5,066 damage for seconds. 
four points six thousand seven hundred fifty five damage per second. Five points is eight thousand four hundred and forty four damage per five seconds. And uh mass engagement, uh, I already said that. Um engage boots. It's actually I'll just say mass engagement again. Uh so it's a thirty yard range into cast a thirty second cooldown. Ultra target place for thirty seconds and spreads to additional nearby enemies. Damage may interrupt the fact feasible in all ships just from and then engage boots at thirty five yard range. 3,200 mana cost, 1.50 second cast. It's a it roots the target in place for two seconds. Damage may cancel the effect. Now Moonfire, I'm not sure why it's in for uh Fiosa Mood, but I already I'll tell you I'll just tell you it though. It's a 40 yard range intercast equipped beam of lunar light burns the enemy for 514 arcane damage and then additional 2238 arcane damage over 60 seconds usable while in mill and then we got um rebirth rebirth is a 40 yard range intercast a 10 minute, 10 minute cooldown return the spirit to the body restoring a dead target to life for 60% health and prey in a castable in combat so basically, okay, if you're a healer, this is a very good to bring back dead people when you're in a, um, a battleground or a dungeon or waiting. So cast that when someone, like a, a party member or a win member when it's dead. So cast that, cast that when you, uh, like when someone's about to, like when someone dies. You can also cast rebirth on a uh, tank too, so, oh no. Uh oh. Hang on a second. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. I got DC'd. Alright, so back to the uh, abilities in the spell book. Alright, so, um, like I was saying for Weebos, when a player dies in a uh, battleground, dungeon, or raid, uh, cast that when a player is dead. You can also cast that when a tank is about to die. And then while you're in a combat, cast that when to uh, bring an instant rebirth to bring it back to life. Alright, so um, I already did shred regrowth. Oh, Skull Bash is a 30 yard range intercast at 15 second cooldown. Cause cat form and bear form. You charge and bash the target skull, interrupting spell casting and pre preventing any spells in that school. From being cast for 4 seconds. Stampede War, a 10 yard range into cast at 2 minute cooldown. Let's lose a wild war, increasing the movement sp speed for of all friendly players within 10 yards by 60% for 8 seconds. Using this ability outside of build form or care form, activates build form. And remove corruption, it costs 4,160 mana. A 40 yard range, 8 second cooldown, it's a cast, notifies corruption effects on all the friendly target, We're removing all costs and poison effects, poison effects. And then survival instincts, it's a cast, 2 minute, two minute recharge, reduce all damage, you take by 50% for 6 seconds, max 2 charges. And swift med is a, uh, 40 yard range, 30 second cooldown, it's car it uh it's it's ten ten thousand and eighty mana at cost. It's intercast instantly here's a friendly target for three thirty-nine thousand nine hundred and eighty one. And then we got teleport moon moon blade, thirty two it costs thirty two mana, nine point nineteen second cast, teleport teleport to the moon blade. Casting teleport Moonblade while in Moonblade will return you back to the near your departure point. And then, okay, so teleport Moonblade basically you just go back to Moonblade to your that's that's where all the druids hang out. And it, and all the all the other classes can go there as well too. 
then we got Thresh. It's a melee range into cast because care form and build form. Thrash all nearby enemies dealing impenetrate physical damage and purely damage damage verified by ship shift form. Tiger Sperry a 30 second cooldown into cast instantly restores 60 energy and increase the de damage of all your attacks by 15% for the full duration last 8 seconds. And then we got wild charge. 5 to 25 yard range, 50 second cooldown to cast by to nearby alien forces. And then we're also all passive. Like we got um three line swiftness, increase your movement speed by 15% from the instinct, crush cat form, reduce the chance enemies have to uh, detect your wild paw is active. Infected wounds, passive, uh, wakes, causes, and an infected wounds in the target, reducing the target's movement speed by 30% for 12 seconds. Mastery, wage of cause, increased damage done by your camp form, bleed abilities by 34%. Omens of clarity, the auto attacks have a chance to cause a uh, click. Clear casting state, making your next shred, flash, or swipe cost no energy. And then, predictably swiftness. Your finishing move have a 20% chance per combo point to make your next rebirth engaging moves or rebirth instant free and castable in all forms. And then, Primal Fury, Mukosh Cat Form, when you critical strike with an attack. That generates a combo point, you gain an additional combo point. Damage over time cannot trigger this effect. And then your charge gift heals you for three three percent of your maximum health every five seconds. If you are at full health and injured injured party away member will be healed instead. So those are all the talents that I said, and this is all the talents. I will, that I gave you for your um, cat form. So I hope this uh, guide will teach you how to play a a fuel show druid in the future. And I wish you guys good luck on playing it. So I uh, so hope this guide will help you and get a, a better look on how to play a cat form. So hope you guys uh, love this guide. And I'll see you guys next time on my next video. See ya! Hey guys, it's Evil Duo Master, and thank you for watching this video that I made. So, if you're new to the game or the class, this guide will teach you how to play a ferocious druid in the future. So, you can be a cat, a bear, or a, a stag, or a moonkin, but in ferocious druid, you can just be a cat form. But you can also be any form if you like. So. I hope this guy will teach you how to play a field show druid in the future. And I wish you guys good luck on playing this class. So I'm going to be ending this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow me at Twitter at EvilDuelMaster. And make sure you give me some more questions for my next Q&A. You can post them in the comments below. Or on my Twitter as well. And I will have them ready for the next Q&A. So anyways guys, I'm going to sign off. And I'll see you guys next time on my next video. See ya!